Although the G20 managed to deliver a joint statement, many were disappointed with the outcome on Ukraine, climate and other issues. It was never going to be a smooth ride at this year's Group of 20 summit in India. Important officials were missing from just concluded conclave. Chinese President Xi Jinping, who has not missed a G20 meeting since coming to power in 2012, and Russian President Vladimir Putin, who has skipped summit for second consecutive year since invasion of Ukraine. Relations between India-China remain frosty, and many were concerned about whether absence of two presidents, especially Xi, would affect future effectiveness of G20, especially if leaders fail to reach a final declaration. These concerns were partially alleviated when leaders of the member states managed to agree a final declaration on Saturday, but they produced softest possible statement on Ukraine. He did not condemn Russia's invasion of country and only remembered the statement made at G20 declaration held in Bali last year. He referred to United Nations resolutions and the need to respect territorial borders. This situation of course, disturbed some Western officials. On Sunday, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, who was deputizing for Putin at summit, declared it a success and thanked the countries of Global South for maintaining a firm position on Ukraine. Russian negotiator Svetlana Lukash told reporters in New Delhi that the joint declaration was balanced and welcomed by Moscow. Although Russia is clearly pleased with the results, Western diplomats may believe it is a price worth paying. They need to keep the G20 running. Many Western countries, concerned about China's growing power, want New Delhi be able to claim that this summit was a great success. As it acts as a strategic counterweight Beijing, International Aid Organization Oxfam described the summit as uninspiring and inadequate due to the lack of action to tackle poverty, inequality and climate change. At summit, course, were promises restructuring global financial system envisioned at Bretton Woods Conference at N. Second World War, which many international experts believed was obsolete. The possibility of reform was mentioned in the conclave, but there is no timeline or action plan. Many countries are struggling and in what the UN calls a debt crisis. There is a need for relief with the provisions put in place for these countries. But there is no concrete step announced. A UN spokesman said agency was not in the business of providing line-by-line -line reports on G20's decisions. However, despite this diplomatic approach, the UN said it was not satisfied with the outcome regarding climate change. G20 countries are responsible for 80% of the world's emissions. However, there is no commitment to phase out coal and no timeline has been established. At start of the meeting, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres told Al Jazeera that he has ambitious new goals for G20 rich nations too.